Hey guys, what's up? I'm John. In this video, we got a product review. We're looking at the Arrowwool Dobson Boxer Brief by First Light. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the product. I'll take you through some of the specifications from the manufacturer. I'll tell you how my field testing went. I'll teach you how to care for the product, and then we'll go through the pros, cons, where to get it, and how much it costs. So that being said, let's get started. All right, guys, here they are, the Dobson Arrowwool Boxer Briefs by First Light. The boxer briefs are made from a 17.5 micron, 145 gram merino wool, which is great for odor mitigation and thermal regulation. But what they also did was blended that with 37.5 by Kokona synthetic fibers, which is really good for moisture wicking. You can see the ones I got here are in the Fusion Camo. It does come in another camo pattern. Um, you can also get them in plain colors like uh, green, brown, and black. It's got a normal fly in the front, elastic waistband at the top, and you can see the legs here are pretty long. Flip it over here, you can see it's made with a bunch of different panels. You can see the seams in bright orange there. Even though there's a lot of seams, the outside and the inside are really pretty flat, so they shouldn't cause you any trouble. The panel at the bottom with the tan color, right in the crotch there, that's more of a mesh. Makes this product a little bit more breathable. Now that we've taken a little bit closer look at these, let's move on to the product testing. Now we're going to move on to the field testing. Eight days in the Rocky Mountains on an elk hunt, I had two pairs of these boxer briefs. I hunted in them, I hiked in them, I slept in them, and I wore each pair for four days at a crack. Let's talk about the fit. I would categorize these underwear as a comfortable snug, meaning they were fairly tight and they didn't stretch out on me as I hunted. As far as sizing goes, I just used the sizing chart that First Light has on its website and it worked out just fine. The next thing is, sometimes you hear the word wool and you assume that the product is gonna be itchy. I didn't have any issues. Okay, let's talk about thermal regulation. On this hunt, hiked about 25 to 30 miles, traversed easily 10,000 feet going up and down with 25 to 30 pounds on our back, so we got some exercise. The temperature started out in the upper 80s in the beginning of the week, some big thunderstorms moved through, and at the end of the week, we were in snow and had the evenings getting down into the upper 30s. I found the boxers to be extremely breathable in the warm weather, but even when the temperatures came down, I know that people talk about this product as being a little bit lighter in a warm weather product, but I liked them so much, they were comfortable, I left them on and actually pulled another base layer longer pant over top of the underwear. Next we're going to move on to moisture wicking and monkey butt. If you guys know what monkey butt is, it's when you get a bunch of moisture in an area that you don't want to have moisture in and it starts to chafe and get irritated and it's not a very good time. This happens to me when I'm wearing more of a cotton product, uh, working out before the hunting season, going on some really long hikes or some really long runs. When I get to like that one hour mark, that's when I start to have some issues. Testing these products in the mountains for a week, uh, sharp contrast, had no issues with monkey butt. The next issue that I have with like a cotton boxer brief is that you wear it for a long period of time, it gets wet, you work out, it starts to stretch out and those legs ride up and when that happens your thighs start to rub together and you get some irritation also no fun these boxer briefs are really long they come down almost all the way to your knee and in my field testing four days straight they may be stretched out a little bit but not enough that would cause them to start riding up onto my thighs okay guys now we're going to talk about odor i've been making a lot of the comparisons to cotton boxer briefs but there's also some really good uh, spandex polyester products while these products are great for performance if you guys have worn them for even five minutes to work out you start to look around like a cat died under your porch so that was one of my concerns wearing them long term in the mountains for a hunt and merino wool is typically known for really good odor control. I was pleasantly surprised with the odor mitigation. One of the reasons I brought more than one pair of these underwear is because I was worried about odor and after four days I probably could have kept wearing them because they didn't smell all that bad but since I had a second pair that's why I decided to put it on. When comparing this product to some of the other articles of clothes that I was hunting in like polyester shirts or even my socks uh, the odor control was, was really quite good. Now let's move on to product care quickly. I washed these boxer briefs a couple times and just like any of my other merino products um, cold water gentle cycle I did throw them in the dryer on low tumble didn't have any issues they didn't shrink um, so you guys should be good to go all right guys let's start wrapping this thing up let's move on to pros and cons pros fit was good they didn't stretch out over time um, the moisture wicking was really good thermal regulation was good in the warm weather but I could even get into it uh, cold weather by putting something a little bit warmer over the top and odor control really good as well as far as cons go guys I usually always have some kind of minor suggestion that I would make to a manufacturer but these things just checked out to be really good and uh, no issues whatsoever so that being said let's move on to where to get them and how much it costs as of the making of this video October 2016 you can go over to Amazon they've got the camouflage boxer briefs for $55 if you just want one of the plain colors you can get those for $45 I've got my affiliate Amazon 
Amazon link in the description of this video. So click on that, head over there, learn some more about the product. You can also see what other customers are posting as far as their product reviews go. So that's it guys. I tried to give you as much info as I could. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can leave comments below and remember, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We'll see you next time. Peace.